and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a lovely, lovely Christmas and you got everything that you hoped for. But remember, as always, Christmas isn't about the presents or anything like that. It's about spending time with your family and loved ones. So I hope you did just that and enjoyed the time with the people that you love spending time with. This was a requested video. I always do um and ah about creating these sort of videos, especially when somebody else has gifted me something because I don't want to feel like um, pressure on the person that's brought me something. However, the gift gifts that I'm going to show you today are the gifts that Joey brought me. Now, he has given me permission to film this. I am in no way bragging. It was a requested video and I wanted to get it out for you guys. So I hope that you like what I got. If there's anything you see here that you want to see a more in-depth review on, then please do let me know and I'll try and sort that out for you. But you know now that I don't make any promises, just in case I can't deliver. But I would like to always do my best for you guys. And a lot of the things that you may ask for um, reviews on, I might already be sorting out for you. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you all had a lovely Christmas anyway, and without further ado, we're just going to get on with the gifts. These are all the items from my fiancé, Joey. So the first few things I'm going to show you are just like the random items that he picked out for me and thought I might like. Um, just recently we've been watching Stranger Things, and he came across this really strange um, head. It's got a candle in it. Once the candle starts to melt, it bleeds through the nose. Now, if you've watched Stranger Things, you will know that the girl, when she works her powers, the nose bleeds. And I thought that was such a cool idea. He was like, it's probably the strangest gift you'll ever get, but he really wanted to get it for me. It comes with two candles, two little red candles, and like a little picker. So once it gets stuck in the nose, you can pick the nose. It's so weird, but it's such a funny gift. Okay, so another very strange gift, but one I thought I would show you. Well, I'll show you everything he got me because he said I could. And it was a pillow. <laughs> it's a pillow with Joey's face on it. Now the reason being, when I go to sleep, I gen I don't know why, I just generally hold a pillow on my belly, don't know why. And he always says, oh you should hug me, but obviously it'd be too hard to get round him. So um, he got me a pillow with his face on it. <laughs> Next up he got me a mug, um, I won't say what it says, I will just show you. You would have got a sneak peek of this little mug on my Christmas Day vlog, I hope you enjoyed it. It's just a general Christmas Day vlog, but when you have family members who don't like to be in the vlog, it is very hard to be able to vlog everything for you. But this is what the mug says. I got this really cool idea, which is a grow your own palm tree. So I'm really so excited to see how this works and if it does work. But it says do keep it in a very warm and bright place. And this house isn't very warm, shall we say. But hopefully I'll be able to get some uh, palm trees out of this one. Next up I got a Disney princess little stationery set. This was going to go on my advent calendar that Joey created but it was um, too big for it. So this is the Cinderella um, stationery kit. I don't know if you've ever seen these and Joey said he's seen them in Poundland now. But these are like little scratch off maps that you can scratch off where you've been on the world. I thought this was super cute as well. I'm going to get a frame for it and when I scratch off just get the picture out just so it lays flat and it looks nice on the wall. But yeah, I really, really like that. It was such a nice little gift idea. So the final sort of randomy, randomy, randomly, randomly. <laughs> the last random item is this retro camera advent calendar. Now you do need to get some film for it, but once you create this advent cal uh, this cal once you create this camera, yeah that's correct, you can actually take photos of it, so I'm really excited to do this. I might put this into like a video of me creating it and like open the boxes and stuff. There is um, instructions in here as well which will be really cool, but yeah, I do really like my photography and cameras and stuff, so this should be a really fun one to do. I got a couple of foodie slash drinky items. The first one is so cool. I was with Joey when he bought it and I did really want to try it. And it is this whipped foam topping. This is barista style marshmallow flavour like whipped cream topping. That sounds so yummy. I really wanted to go back and get Joey one so it was like more of a secret but I never went back. This is from TK Maxx but honestly this looks so nice and I cannot wait to use this. Then I've got this um, chocolate bar, strawberries and cream one. I will just come and close up and show you what it says. Just because I don't want to get in trouble, obviously. And finally, I got some American flavour candies, um, dessert candy canes. So these are really fun. We've got chocolate fudge cake, Eaton mess, toffee sundae and key lime pie. So 
cannot wait to try these. Definitely will put the chocolate fudge cake one in my hot chocolate. That will taste so nice. Moving on to some makeup and beauty items, I've got two perfumes here. I've got the Alice in Wonderland um, perfume. This was from Primark. I was with Joey when he bought it. I was tempted to get it myself, but he bought it for me, which is really nice. And this smells really florally and like fresh. Uh, I really, really like it. So yeah, I've already opened it and used it. I wore it on Christmas Day. And I also got this Christine Aguilera one. If you did see in the box swap that I done with Sammy, I actually sent Sammy one of these as well. So I did obviously get some makeup items. I swear Joey says to me every year he's not going to get me makeup items. But this year he did say to me he's not going to get me revolution makeup items. He did stick to his word. There is no makeup revolution items in here. I have to admit I am really happy about that. I feel like my love for revolution is slowly like drifting away. Um, I will talk about that in another video but... Um, the items that I did get I am super excited about. The first thing I got was this little benefit cracker. So inside this cracker we've got four little minis but I'm going to do a little unboxing on this separately so I thought that would be a really cute little video. It's such a little pretty cracker. I opened a pair of socks and Joey had actually wrapped this palette in a pair of socks so that I wouldn't guess what it was and I was going oh, I'm going to open the, this one that looks like a pair of socks. Because we were doing like a little guessing game what what was in each, each package. And I was adamant that this one was a pair of socks. He made it look like a pair of socks. And he, he literally wrapped it in a pair of his socks. They were clean by the way. Now this is obviously a Naked Cherry as you can see. And when it came out I was like oh my god there's another heat palette. And then I looked at it and I was like cherries? This doesn't look very cherry like. And I did say that to Joey. However he looked at the palette and thought you know. Regardless of what Mercedes thought, the colours are really pretty and they would suit Mercedes, so he got it for me anyway. Then when I opened it on Christmas Day, I was like, it makes perfect sense why it's called Cherry now. It's not actually anything to do with cherries, the colours and like the theme that you expect. It's actually something completely different. Now if you've read the names in this palette, you'll know what it's relating to and it's slightly different to what you expect. So... I was more disappointed with like the colour shades that I thought I was getting rather than what it was actually about but I do really love the colours, I am really excited to try it. I was just a little bit confused why it was called Cherry when it's not a very cherry coloured palette, I mean there's a lot more paler shades than there is darker shades but this is going to be stunning I'm sure, I absolutely love my Naked Heat palette as you know. So That was a really long ramble about one palette but I'm really sorry I had to get that out there. And then when we went to London, um, sort of late November, early December time, we were in Debenhams and I kept seeing this palette here. This is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette and I kept saying to Joey like, oh that's like on offer right now, I actually might pick that up for myself because I really like the shades. I love how it's got a neutral balance with a bright kick of colours. I love the packaging, like you don't buy things for packaging, I know, but I did absolutely love the packaging. But he did kindly buy this for me for a Christmas gift. Honestly guys, I am so excited to try this. I know there's a couple of their cult classics in here, and I just think that if you took this on holiday with you, or travelling, you wouldn't need any other palette. There is only six mattes though I found, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven mattes. Which isn't a great deal considering this is a 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20, 20 pound palette. 21 pound palette, sorry. Um, but there's enough and the shades that you get you could definitely work with. I'm super excited once again to try this palette out. And I've literally been lusting over it for quite a while now. And my friend Lana on Instagram also has this palette. And I kept was like, oh my god, that palette is gorgeous. Like... It is gorgeous. Joey felt a bit bad when he gave me the cherry one because he was like, oh, she didn't really like it. But I did like it. I just didn't see how the name relates, but it's quite obvious how the name relates now. And finally, Joey also got me a little box set. And this was the Look Fantastic MAC box set. And this has got some cult classics in it from MAC. But again, I will unbox that separately for you as another little video. Moving on to some clothing items. Um... I picked a couple of these out, I'll tell you which ones they were, and I also obviously got a surprise. The first one was a surprise item, and it is this burgundy thin sort of ribbed long sleeve, sleeve top with a lovely sort of open back. 
in a burgundy shade this is really pretty it's thin so i think you would need to wear like a vest top underneath but you guys know i absolutely love this color so i was super happy for that I also got this little eye print sheer top as well. I think this would look super, super cute with the denim dress that I brought from Primark. I absolutely love that dress and I've worn it so much. So it's, it was definitely a great um, investment for me. But I love the little eye print. When I'm like just drawing slash doodling, this is the sort of print, like the eye print that I sort of create. So Joey saw that and thought of me. He also got me a couple of sweatwear so he got me this just smile and nod khaki green t-shirt this is from primark and it feels nice and warm and cozy but also just smile and nod is something that i quite often say so i think he picked it for the quote i've also got it's not me it's you sort of sweatshirt a black sweatshirt with just white writing on it and i love these sorts of sweatshirts in like autumn winter time they're just easy to throw on and wear so yep happy again then we've got a top that I did pick out. I was going to buy it for myself, but Joey was like, oh, I'll buy it for you for Christmas. I thought, oh, okay. And this is from a Pep & Co. And it says, don't give up. This is like a, um, a thin t-shirt material, but long sleeves, if that makes sense. This was only £4, but it's obviously the four that counts anyway. And I did really like it. I'll pair it up nicely with skirts and jeans and even that t um, that denim dress. Honestly, I'm going to get so, many, so much wear out that denim dress. Then I've got this little button down skirt, this was, this is like a, oh dear, this is going to be so hard to show. This is like a suede button down skirt with like cactus and a little bird on it on this side. Honestly this fits really nicely and it looks really nice on. I feel like I could pair that with a couple of things that I've gotten over the la over the Christmas season and it looks so nice. So yeah, really happy for that. I got these little jeans, these are girlfriend fit jeans. When I unraveled these, I was like, why have you wrapped up some of your jeans for me? Because they did look like sort of a man style jean, but these are mine. <laughs> I haven't tried these on yet, so I hope they do fit, but he said it doesn't matter if they don't. They do look like a nice pair of jeans with like chunky boots or something. I think that would look nice. Another t-shirt that I also picked out was this one from Pep & Co. And this just says influencer on it in another one on my favourite shades which is the mustard yellow and finally a coat that I picked up when I went to the East Midlands for my nan and granddad's 50th wedding anniversary I saw this coat and I absolutely fell in love and I was like I'm gonna buy it and give you the money back and he was like no I'll get it you for Christmas but it's this a gorgeous absolutely gorgeous mustard yellow coat with like little pom-poms on it two little fastens it's got some poppers going all the way down and this fairy hood honestly guys i don't think i could have left this in the shop if i tried this is such a lovely coat it's not as thick as i would have liked but it just it really does suit me to a t so i'm really happy with that okay so the final item that i have here was a shock for me it was wrapped up all convincingly to be something completely different but joey did shock the living out of me honestly he shocked me because i weren't expecting it at all and it is from the vodafone shop and it's a new phone honestly he really didn't have to do this but this is the huawei p20 pro with the triple camera joey's got this phone and his camera is absolutely incredible he's picked me like the twilight one i'm gonna do an unboxing on this anyway i can't wait to try it we're on the 27th of december and it's still in this box i've literally opened it to have a look at the phone because joey's like at least have a look at it we had such a busy christmas day i didn't have a chance to open it on christmas day and then literally we had such a busy day yesterday so i'm filming this today so i can actually open it but honestly i'm so excited because Ever since he's got his phone, I've been slightly jealous of him. I love his phone, especially when it comes to his camera. And I've got to set all that up today, so I'm really excited about that. I cannot, literally, I cannot wait. I'm so, so happy with that. Honestly, Joey, thank you ever so much for all the gifts that you did buy me. You really didn't have to buy me this much at all. I just love having the two days off that I get with you. I know it's super hectic and super busy, but thank you so much. And I can't believe next year I'm going to be your wife. <laughs>
<laughs> I hope you had a nice Christmas too. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below for more unboxings and videos from me with a little bit of honesty. And I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.